Does it look like it's good? <sighs> it's good. to come on in here and share with you guys the 2020 fan favorite items um, this is not a sponsor post this is just simply because I love Aldi and there are a couple of items on this 2020 list that I have not tasted so I'm gonna be tasting them for the first time with you right here right now so first let me share with you guys the 2020 fan favorite list there are a lot of items on here that I love including the shrimp including the wipes, um, including the avocados, yeah, and the cookies. The cookies are bomb. So the items off of the list that I'm gonna be tasting today is the vegetarian burger, and then we're also gonna be doing Malacozy pizzas today because one, I have a child that's about to wake up and he's gonna be hungry, and two, I've never tried the vegan burgers. I hear great things about them, so I'm gonna be trying those today. And stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing one of my absolute favorite items from Aldi that I can't find anywhere else. And I promise you guys, I use it every week, every week, um, if not using it twice a week. I just use it a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Mama Cozy, it is the overall favorite. And I have a couple of mommy cozy items here that I want to try out and the one thing I'm most excited about is this pizza it is a cauliflower crust pizza I have never tried a cauliflower crusted pizza but my son loves cauliflower I'll eat cauliflower like I'll tolerate it and I know I should be eating cauliflower pizza versus a regular pizza dough but I just haven't gotten into it so I'm gonna go ahead and try it today this one is gluten-free which is perfect I definitely don't need gluten in my life and it's three cheeses and y'all know I eat cheese so I'm gonna about that life <laughs> and yeah we're gonna try out this three cheese mama cozy cauliflower pizza it says it only takes nine minutes to prepare so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the oven so we can get this bad boy popping okay so the other Mama Cozy pizzas that I grabbed is the chicken flatbread pizza. It's a Southwest style barbecue pizza. Really interested in, in this because my go-to in this house is making a DIY pizza. Everybody in this house loves it. So I'm interested to try out this flatbread pizza. The ingredients look great and I love barbecue pizza. So we're gonna try this out. And then I grabbed this. Now I know I don't need no more bread in my life. It looks interesting, it looks good. I love breadsticks. Excited about trying this out. It comes with garlic sauce and marinara sauce. So we're gonna try this out as well. And it takes seven to nine minutes to prepare. And this one takes 10 to 12 minutes to prepare. So we should have something popping off really fast. And then the other item I'm gonna be trying today are veggie burgers. I bought two types of the earth grown veggie burgers this one is the soy based cheeseburger and here's the thing about soy I try to stay away from soy but I can tolerate soy in my diet a little bit like I love soy sauce it doesn't aggravate me but I try to stay away from soy products so I also grabbed their Thai burgers because these aren't soy based they are brown rice based so these have soy in it but it's not the main component like it actually has um, it just contains soy it's not in the main ingredients and it does have soy sauce in it so I'm like hmm might be the winner chicken dinner so we're gonna try this one today okay let's get to cooking all right guys so we have everything in the oven I think our cauliflower pizza should be almost ready let me get my bits. Oh, smells good. Looks good. I see, I see, I see. Okay, 
Okay, so we have a cauliflower pizza here. Nice and hot. Looks like a cheese pizza. Smells like a cheese pizza. So we're gonna dive into this. Can't seem to find my pizza cutter, but we're just gonna go ahead and cut it and taste it. All right, so my oven is telling me that we got something else that's about ready to come out. Oh, it's nice and cheesy, y'all. pretty toasty the inner is still a little soft so let me get something to help me out And even though my cheese on top has a little crisp to it, I might have needed to keep this in the oven just a tad bit longer. Okay. Pizza time. And usually I won't use a fork, but you know, I just can't pick it up like that. You want some pizza? Yeah. You want some pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you were to give this to me and tell me it was cauliflower pizza, I would say you were lying because it doesn't taste like cauliflower pizza. And I've tried to make cauliflower dough and it was a mess. So, yeah. Thumbs up on this. This is good. Okay guys, so we're back with round two of Mommy Cozy. We have our Southwest chicken pizza and then we have some breadsticks here. I feel like I should have stopped at the cheese pizza because honestly, I'm still thinking about it. It really did not taste like cauliflower dough. It tastes like regular pizza dough, which is crazy. I gave it to my picky son and he loved it and he couldn't tell that it was another type of pizza and Clay loves pizza. This smells delicious. I don't feel like I'm having a problem with this at all. So here we go. Mm. That's good. I got a little heat to that. It's a little heat to that. Woo. Okay, so the thing I love about this pizza is it doesn't taste like it's been in the freezer. So they say that this is deli fresh pizza and it comes through in the taste. Airport. Now we're gonna try out these cheese sticks. And honestly, I just bought this for the dip <laughs> because it came with dip. So we're gonna taste this out and see how it is. All right, it has a little crisp to it. Okay, that's good. Try the marinara sauce. And I purposely didn't cook all of the cheese sticks because I don't need all that bread right now. And I'm glad I didn't because I probably would eat it all. Mm. I'm here for it. I see why I got the overall fan favorite. It delivers options. It's fresh. It got sauce on the side. We'll be doing some more mommy cozies. But out of the three, I'm still thinking about that cauliflower pizza. Like, I don't feel like I gave up anything with the cauliflower pizza. Now, even though... The cauliflower pizza only comes in cheese. I would throw on some more ingredients, the ones that I feel like making with it, and keep it moving, because that is a good pizza. All right, y'all, so last but certainly not least, we are trying the Earth Grown Thai 
patty. This is a brown rice protein patty. Um, it is vegetarian. It has a lot of veggies in there that I can actually see through the meats. So if you see that patty right there, it actually got the veggies popping through, y'all. It smells good. We are gonna see if it tastes good. And then I have some brioche bread here that made the list too. So if you're an Aldi, you can find this brioche bread there. And I'm not gonna put any sauce on there. I'm usually a real sauce girl, but I wanna get the flavor. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and put some spinach at the bottom of it because we just gonna try to lace this with all the goodness that we need. Put our patty on top. Put some tomatoes. And some red but purple onions. Like Tabitha Brown says. And then we're gonna top it with some avocado because that will replace like that mayonnaise taste that I probably want. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Bulldozer. You want a sandwich? You want some? No. Okay. All right. flavors popping out right now. Veggie patties that I eat try to emulate meat. And this isn't really necessarily trying to emulate meat, but it's so super satisfying. I like it. Mm. And the Thai flavors are great. Okay, y'all, so that was our taste test. We did Mama Cozy's, we did Earth Grown. Hope you guys loved it. And last but not least, I'm going to share my number one item I always buy. I honestly was sad that it didn't make the list because it's so good. Buy little salads. And I just want to tell y'all, if you've never tried this, pick it up. You'll see it in the veggie section. It's an amazing ginger vinaigrette by far. Like it reminds me of going into the restaurant and actually getting like the ginger dressing. This is it, this is the bomb. And then the other thing that we love in my house, these are Clay's favorite cookies by far. And Clay's in the space. Clay. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing I love about these cookies, it actually has a chocolate cookie at the bottom with peanut butter on top. So I don't feel super, super guilty about that. So I hope you guys love this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below if there's something at Aldi that I need to try out next. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.